What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel once again. Uh, today, we're probably gonna go back to Austin's house. I'm gonna go help him work on his FRS. He's doing a little project there. So we're gonna go help him out with that. But today as well, we are, we're gonna install the new dash cap. Yes, sir. I'm gonna put in the 240, get rid of this dash cover because the dash is pretty beat up. Like it's all cracked and full of glue and all that, but I'll get into that later. Let's head to Austin's house for a bit. I'm gonna help him take apart his car and I'll see y'all there. <sighs> Good, nice, beautiful day. Grab the essentials, got my tools. Check it out, check it out. Take, I don't have all my tools. I took my whole toolbox to work, but look what I got. A little snap-on, three-eighths, brushless drill. So we're gonna test this baby out. This thing's clean. Just grabbing all the essentials, baby. I never really talked about this, but I just picked up this Forerunner like a month ago. This is a new family mobile. My little tow rig. I could take. I could tow the 240 to the track now. It's actually really clean. Got my son's little bucket seat, his little car seat, a little family wagon, family SUV. Um, it is a sport edition too, it's not an SR5, so it's like a higher trim. I haven't really showed anybody this, but here she is. The new tow rig. Yeah. My boy Austin, he is starting up his channel, so please do me a favor, go support K-Style Garage on YouTube, go subscribe, go give him some love, he's, he's trying to do his own thing, and we support it, so we're going to be collabing a lot, be chilling, just kicking it, having a good time, so please go, go give him a shout out, go show him some love, if he deserves it. Yeah, his project is looking actually pretty nice, and he has big plans for his FRS. He does want to go to the track with us. He does want to learn how to slide and do all that. So, I mean, it should always be, it's always a good time. So anybody who's trying to learn, anybody who's trying to do something new, get out of their little comfort zone. I'm all about it and I support it. So it should be fun. Big things coming soon. Real big things are coming soon. So let's go have some fun. Let's go show them some love and let's go pull up. So we've been here for a couple hours already. I didn't really film too much, but Look at it, we cleaned out his whole engine bay. Damn, this looks nice, bro. You excited? Hell yeah. Check out the inside, dude. <laughs> Ain't nothing in there. So yeah, we literally took all this out, bro. We just, we, look at it, look at his whole harness. Look at all this. We took all this out. This is what, like your, his dash harness. That's like his body harness. Here's his engine bay harness that we just took out. That was probably like the biggest bitch out of all of them. We took out all the brake lines. Yeah, we did a lot. Um, yeah, like we said before, this motor's for sale. Any pieces that you need, let us know. Transmission is good. That's still for sale. The motor has a rod knock, but it's not blown. Or I mean, like it, like no pistons. The case is still solid. It's just the internal. Obviously, is what's bad. Transmission is good. That's for sale. Let my boy Austin know. Like we cleaned out the whole interior. I don't know if you remember from last time. All this looked like a big old spaghetti, bro. Yeah, just filled with wiring, all that. So and then he took out the the fuel tank as well. Sold that. All this stuff is for sale, bro. So whatever whatever you guys need from an FRS, uh, just let Austin know. Any pieces, any bits that you that you see here. Sound deadening. Is that part of like the the electric steering? All that for the column. The brake boosters for sale. All this, this whole setup, brake booster, even the clutch, master and slave. Just took out even more deadening. <laughs> so yeah, today's a good day. Feel pretty accomplished. We did a good amount. Uh, can't wait to see what he's got. Big plans for this, so stay stay in tune to his channel. Like I said before, go and subscribe to K Style Garage and support my boy. Damn, bro, I'm excited, dog. Bro, this is crazy. I'm fucking excited, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> There was so much stuff to do before. I mean, there still is a lot to do now, but like, yeah, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> it's always fun doing things with your, with your good friends. 
So right now we're just cleaning everything up pretty much. We took all the harnesses out. Everything's in here in this box. We disconnected all the fuel and the brake lines that runs all the way to the to the gas tank that was there. Dang, this thing looks crazy, bro. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're just cleaning up right now. And then probably just head back to the house, start working on the 240 and put on the dash cap. Yes, sir. Let's get to it, bro. Well, I'm excited for you, bro. I'm fucking, I'm excited, bro. I can't oh, wait till this shit. This is what it's all about, bro. All the, the steps you got to take just to get this thing going. <laughs> Except it'd be a lot funner in a shop. Yeah. Organize all this crap every time. <laughs> it's all good, baby. It's all good. Hey, this is the shop, bro. For now. For now. Soon, soon, soon. We will have our own shop. And then what I was, I was talking about too is we need to get a lift so we can lift the cars and go under it instead of being on the floor. Look at him, my, my man. Ass don't fit in there. <laughs> We're all dirty and shit. <laughs> and then here's the interior. He wants to do some like custom work in the interior. Take off all like these brackets that he doesn't really need. He's gonna shave all that as well. But um, get some new pedals. Everything. Everything's gonna be nice and clean once he's done with it. Damn, that's crazy, bro. How much work we did and all this shit. <laughs> well, you you mainly did like most of it, but looks naked. Yeah, pretty much, bro. And then we have the creeper. We're under here, disconnecting all the lines, everything. Fuel all over us. Yeah. Well, I still got most of it. You got all the fuel on him. <laughs> Skin, skin's burning. <laughs> yeah, she's coming along though. She's coming along. Follow my boy, my boy Austin at K Style Garage on YouTube. Do you, do you have an Instagram? Yeah, I have a, I got kstyle.garage on, on Instagram. Yes, sir. So you heard I it there. I think it's kstyle.garage. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those. But yeah, so if you want to keep, you want to see the process of this building, hit my boy up. Yes, sir. Thank you, big dog. I appreciate you. Well, thank you for helping me. Yeah, I got you, bro. Don't even trip. So now we're going to head home, work on the S13, and get that thing going, so... See you then. All right, y'all. So now we're back at the house and time to do some work on the S13. We're going to work on this dash right here. As you can see, it is pretty beat up. So take off this dash mat. Watch, I'll show you. Look at that. Yeah, that's, that's not good at all. <laughs> So I'm gonna do it like the Jimmy Oaks way. If you've seen in his video, he doesn't use the silicone. All he does is drill a little screw into here. So if this, if this was a mint dash, obviously I wouldn't be doing it, but obviously it's all crusty and pretty much destroyed and gone. So yeah, I'm just gonna do it like that. If you look right here, a bunch of glue from the previous owner. It's all cracked, pretty much destroyed. So I'm gonna throw the cap on. Let's do it, boys. I'm pretty excited about this. I'm pretty happy, so let's get right to it. I do recommend getting these as well. I mean, I don't even know where you get them, to be honest. It came with a car. I'm guessing you can get them from, I don't know, just type in S13 dash cap and it'll show up. They're like a hundred bucks. I think, I forget what company makes them, but yeah. They're pretty solid. They're pretty clean. OEM replacement, pretty much. So definitely it's a must. And then I was even also like considering selling some of the stuff off of my car. Probably like these fenders or something like that. Even the hood, I don't know. I kind of want to change it up because like it's cool, it's clean. But I think I'm gonna try to go with like a different style. So yeah, I might be selling these, these fenders right here. I'm guessing they're like plus 40 because they are pretty wide. As you can see right here, I'll probably throw on the Vertex fenders and just rock those for now. But like I said, even the hood too. So if anybody's interested, let me know on the fenders, maybe the hood. And in the future, I am going to get rid of the bumper as well. So I'm going to change the whole front end pretty much, except for the lights and the, and the grill. I'm going to keep that. Here she is, boys. 
literally made out of plastic. Yeah, it's gonna look good. It's definitely gonna look better than what it is. What I am gonna have to do though, is cut out like a small hole for the heads up display that I have in mind, which is this right here. See that? I'm gonna have to make a little hole that goes around it. So I'm gonna have to take my time with that, but it should be a little bit of fun. Let's get it. Nice. So right now I'm test fitting it, but I mean, they fit pretty good actually. See, this is how it will look after when it's all said and done, but I do have to cut that piece. But I always start off small. When you cut, you want to cut less than more. That's what everybody says. So I'm gonna follow that recipe and see how it goes. Man, this looks good. <laughs> Looks way better than just a dash mat. I mean, the dash mat's cool too, like don't get me wrong, but I feel like this is really gonna make a difference, especially for the interior, because you always have to have a clean interior. Because if you have a clean interior in your car, then you feel good driving it, and it's just even better. So it's always, it's always best to have a good interior, always complete, unless it's a track car, but we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna make this happen, we're gonna make this work. So now I got the little setup going on. Got my little stand right here, put the dash cap on top, and then it's time to start cutting. So it's gonna be like right here in this section, it's like a square. So I'm gonna cut small, and then I'm gonna keep test fitting it. Here's my little Milwaukee rotary tool, so I'm gonna start out tiny, cut right there, cut right there, make a little X, make a little box, and then just keep going. Made a little X marks the spot, so it's gonna be somewhere in the general idea. So I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut this into like a little box. Start off small and then go bigger, bigger, bigger until it fits properly. And make it clean as possible. Hopefully it comes out clean. If not, it's all good. Whatever. It's all good, baby. It's all good. So I put it back in, and this is how it looks. So it's pretty much lined up. Let me push it forward. It's kind of holding it from, but. So yeah, that's a little heads up display, little screen right there. So it's pretty much kind of like on the money. I just have to make the hole a little bit bigger at a time and just do it as clean as possible. It's not gonna be perfect, but it'll be clean. So I gotta take my time with it and just cut little by little. Don't cut more. It's always better to cut less. That's what everybody says. So I'm gonna run with that. I'm gonna go with that. So I'm gonna keep cutting, keep chopping. I almost forgot. Safety first, boys. <laughs> so I made the hole a little bit bigger. It's getting there. See, I'm trying to follow the shape of the outer line. I know I have to trim up here a little bit more, but it's almost there. I have to go this way a little bit more. Just go up, follow the line, then round out the edges, and then it should be good. So I'm gonna pull this back out. Keep test fitting it, putting it back in, taking it out. But it's all good though. Damn, that looks way better. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. So I made a made a bit of progress. It's already nighttime outside. <laughs> I've been cutting little by little. It looks good so far. I just have to do this top corner now. I didn't know how much you had to trim. But yeah, she's looking good though. And there she is, boys. Probably paint that black, but whatever. I don't care. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Definitely. Yes, sir. After all that time trimming it, it had a break. But it's all good though. Now that's in. I'm gonna go do the other side. The reason why I screwed them in is so I could just take this out and then I could pop this out whenever I feel like it. If it ever gets messed up or destroyed, I could just replace it with the next one. I think it looks way better. Um, I'm gonna have to get, yeah, I'm gonna have to get a new one of those, but besides that, she looks good. Yes, sir, nice. 
Hopefully you can see it, but damn. Yeah, that made a big difference. It looks way better, way cleaner. Just don't mind this hole, but yeah, that looks a lot better. Definitely, definitely happy with how it turned out. If you guys know where to get these, I'm guessing that they're discontinued. Is there any aftermarket ones that I could get? If, if so, just let me know. Damn, after a long trial and error, I finally got it in. But hey, good things take time, you know what I mean? If it's, if it's easy, then it's not good. If it's not easy, then it's good. That looks way better. I'm definitely happy with it. And here it is, it literally broke into like pieces. Yeah, it was extremely brittle. I barely put any pressure on it and it just like broke. These are probably rare to get like OEM, so whatever, I'll just get aftermarket. All right then guys, I guess that's pretty much it. I'm gonna do some more work on the car. I'm pretty tired, so I'm gonna put the camera down, get to work, do a little bit more. I'm gonna take off the fenders. If you guys let me know if you're interested, these are for sale. And once again, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Y'all take care. Late. Nice.